Hi, this is Nav Madam, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, KSA College of Arts and Science for Women. Now we are going to see about Python Programming Unit 2. So in the Unit 2, we have, for the first topic is Boolean Data Type in Python. A Boolean expression evaluates to either true or false and can be used as a conditional in the control structure. So Boolean is nothing but always is zeros and ones which is true or false. Types of flow control in Python, the if statement, the else if, if else statement, the nested if statement, the if elif else later. The if statement is the most simple decision making statement. It is used to decide whether the certain statement or block of statements can be executed. So the syntax is if condition the statements. So here the diagram for if statement. Next Python if else statement. The if else alone tells that if a condition is true, the true block will be executed. If the condition is false, the false block will be executed. So that is the example here, the diagram for the if else statement. The next is nested if Python. A nested if is an if statement that is the target of another if statement. So for inside the inside, okay, nested if statements mean if statement inside another if statement. Here the syntax, if condition and another condition, here the diagram for the nested if in Python. Then if else later is nothing but a user can decide among multiple options. The if statements are executed from the top to down. Okay, here the syntax and the diagram for the. Then indentation in Python. Python indentation refers to adding with white spaces before a statement to particular block of code. In other words, we can say means all the statements with the same space to the right belong to the same code block. Then iterative control statements. The iterative statements are also known as looping statements or repetitive statements. The iterative statements are used to execute a part of the program repeatedly as long as given condition is true. Then Python while loop. A specified criterion is true, a block of statements will be continuously executed in a while loop. So and the line in the program that follows the loop is run when the condition changes to the false. So syntax of while is nothing but while expression the syntax. Then Python for loop there is no style for a C style for loop okay that is for i equal to 0 i less than or equal to n i plus plus. The for loop which is similar to each for each loop in another language. The next is Python loop control statements. The loop control statements are Python continue, Python break, Python pass. The difference between definite loop and indefinite loop. A definite loop is a loop in which the number of times it is going to execute is known in advance. While in an indefinite loop, the, execute, uh, the loop is executed until some condition is satisfied. The number of times is going to execute is not known in advance. The second point, definite loops are implemented using for loops. The indefinite loops are implemented using while loops or do while loops. Then there is no theoretical reason no, for not using loops for indefinite loops and while loops for definite loops. But indefinite loops could be neatly organized with while loops while definite loops could be neatly organized for for loops. Then boolean flag. Python boolean type is one of the built-in type data type provided by Python which represents one of the two values that is true or false. The next is list. Lists are used to store data of different data types in a sequential manner. They are addresses assigned to every element of the list which is called index. The index value starts from 0 and goes on until the last element called positive index. There is also negative indexing which starts from minus 1 enabling you to access elements from the last to first. So creating list, adding list, deleting elements, accessing elements are the operations performed in the list. Then other functions, the length of function which returns the length of the list, the index of function which finds the index value of value post where it has been encountered in the first time, the count function finds how many counts are there. The sorted and sort functions do the same thing. The sort in the values, ascending or descending order. Then strings in Python. A string is a sequence of characters 
that can be combination of letters numbers and special characters it can be declared uh, by using single quotes double quotes or even triple quotes uh, quotes are not a part of string they define only starting and ending the string string are immutable they cannot be changed each element of the string can be accessed using indexing or slicing operations so here the string operations so capitalize case fold center count encode ends with n expands find format index is alpha new is alpha is ascii is decimal so these are the examples of the string operations thank you